Okay guys, it is currently like 6.45 a.m. It is Monday, August the 10th. So last night, Marisol, she's in the car right now. She decided to take a spontaneous trip to San Francisco. So here we are, we're just gonna go, drive up, eat, and just come back to LA. We just got whole lot of snacks, coffee, essentials. Oh, this is coffee cake. Coffee cake. Oh wait, but there's more. Mm. Chocolate chip. Why not? And um, Annette's addicted to these yerba mates. They're like energy drinks with tea. He only wanna see that ass reverse. Two thousand dollar bag with no cash in your purse. Now you sitting courtside wiping on the bus. Six hours later. We just got to the hotel. My hair is all crazy. I know. We're gonna go explore. We're gonna try some like new foods. But I'm about to get ready and then you'll see my fit and how I look after. So I'm ready. I'm just using this in my bag jacket, some black sweats, and my reverse shattered backboards. Look at this buffoon. I'm trying to get these angles. If it comes up fire, give me some props. Annette, come here. So me and Annette have matching cactus jack masks. Why are you wearing almost the same color outfit right now? We're she like, copied me. No, I put it on first. That's not true. Well, she I, did, but I, I packed it first. No, you, I, <laughs> she's lying. I packed last night. She packed this morning, so. So guys, just so you know, uh, Nezzy's middle name is Warp. So <laughs> she's like Warp West. We're at the Fisherman's Warp, and she's saying that my name is Warp, but to tell the truth, her middle name is Warp. <laughs> Fisherman's Wharf, Wharf, aka Pier 39. Um, so I was recommended to try Trish's mini donuts. They're sugared, as you can see. They're mini, and it's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try them live on camera. Oh, and as you can tell, it's really windy. It's in the middle. Of, well, it's like the beginning of August, but it's like fall over here already. They're warm. We're gonna toast. We're gonna toast. Cheers. This is your trip. Okay, we're gonna try it. Let's see how it goes. Mm. They're quite soft. It's like a donut slash funnel cake. Mm. It's like a donut. We're like a churro. I only ordered six pack of sugar on the eight pack. I know. Because they're pretty fire. But we have more stuff to try, so we're not trying to get too full just by like. You know, eating donuts. It was recommended and it's fire. If you're ever at Pier 39, come to Trish's mini donuts. So we're inside a booth. I'm sitting on Betsy. <laughs> we have a net here. We're trying to take some uh, pictures as you can Her see. Butt. I get the moment happening. Okay, update. That was a big fail. We were not able to take the pictures. I think he probably tried to try like three times. We're about to go eat at 54 Mint. It's an Italian restaurant. I yelped it. Right now, we're still in COVID, so everything's pretty much closed. But this is one of the restaurants that was open, and it is Michelin rated or recommended. So it should be good. I'm excited. 
and let's see how it goes. Adjusting the camera, one, two, three. We are here live. I'm looking at the wrong camera, God, but we're at 54 Mint. We just ordered some pasta. So this is a Roman Italian restaurant. We decided to try our food. We just ordered some cute drinks. We'll wait for our food. Cute. So here we got some soup leaf. Do you care to elaborate what that so is? Basically, these are risotto balls that are fried, and um, the outside has panko, and on the inside it has a little mozzarella cheese fries. So when you bite into it, it has cheese. Then we will demonstrate. Okay, guys. So I want to try the soupli. So big old ball. That's what she said. Hey. It's crunchy. Let's see the inside. <laughs> there we go. Open it so we can see the cheese in the middle. Ooh, wow. <laughs> we requested some extra marinara to add to our cheese balls. How is it? Fire? So it's really nice and crunchy, um, very flavorful. I just felt like the sauce was missing, so glad that it worked out. Okay, so I got the spaghetti ale melanzane, which basically is a house spaghetti, fried eggplant, almond and basil pesto, tomato confit, and ricotta salata. And I got it too. And then, uh, what did you get? It's basically a pecorino cheese alfredo with mad pepper. Yum. We're back at the hotel. We just slashed 54 mint and it was pretty fire. Uh, I'm so full right now. I have the itis. I'm, overall, if you're ever in San Fran and you want some good Italian food or if you like, like lamb or stuff like that, I recommend you go to 54 mint. They have good appetizers. We didn't get to the dessert because we're that full, but like I said, it was pretty fun. So. I'm waiting for Nick to leave. Ready? Damn the song. So, lighting gods help this girl out here. Yeah. Guys. Oh, oh man. Ness, you naughty Nancy. Damn, we've not gone to the club in a long time, but. Yeah. She's trying to get lit, guys. Invite her out to the club. Okay, so yeah, I don't know why I'm staying on top of the car, but I can do what I want. We're here for being in mall. We're about to have this food. You've been wanting this for a long time. Dude, I'm so excited. barbecue vegan food we got from vegan mob anyway so right here we have a shrimp mac and cheese vegan burrito it's called the shrimp barbecue uh annette what do you have right here um so we have the links collard green the smack uh macaroni and cheese the spicy chicken and then we have the brisket we have the seafood uh gumbo of the Potato salad alongside with red beans, beef tips, brisket, sweet chili shrimp, love my greens, mac and cheese, beans. These are baked beans. We got some coleslaw and uh, what is this? Yams. You can't have. This is where they shot the picnic scene for Full House, but the Full House house is not here. These are the painted ladies. So we are 15 minutes in eating. An actual real rating, guys. What would you rate Vegan Mom? What did you think of your dish, Betsy? Um, it was great. My favorite part was the beef tips. So good with the barbecue sauce and the mac and cheese and the potato salad. My least favorite thing, the greens, but who cares? All right. I give it a eight, but a strong eight. Thank so you. I really enjoyed the gumbo. Very seafoody, very good. The potato salad is fine. This <clears throat> this brisket it hits like it's perfect. Overall, I liked everything. I give it a, a nice little nine. 
Okay. Yeah. Cool. And I got the shrimp barbacuito. Like I said, overall, I like it. I'm going to give them like a solid seven or eight. I just feel like it had a lot going on, but the flavors were good. Um, next time around, I'll probably try like something else. If you like burritos, you would like it. Mango lemonade is fire. But if you're in San Francisco and you want some vegan soul food barbecue, I do recommend it. It's very good. Prices are pretty normal, like decent, like $15 plates and up. You know how? I was 25 like I said, $15 and up because my burrito was 15 but The food is excellent. So we were driving down the road and we just kept seeing these signs that say like 14 avocados for $1. Let's see. Bubbles. <laughs> for all my tequila fans out there, they got the specials for you. Found this chill. Do you guys think that a human brought this here, you know, and had some like oysters? Or is it from this oasis and it's actually the water level used to be higher? Like, what do y'all think?